this episode, we are going to dive deeper into the architecture of an assistant built using Calm. This will give you a better and more visual understanding of how different components of Calm work together to understand user inputs and produce the responses. And you will see how everything works under the hood in an active development stage. For this, let's take a very simple interaction between the user and a banking customer support assistant. User's input is first passed through the dialogue understanding component. This component is responsible for interpreting the user's input and producing the sequence of commands that correspond to how the user wants to progress the conversation. Remember, the ultimate goal of an assistant built with Calm is figuring out the most efficient way to fulfill the user's request. The underlying component behind the dialogue understanding is Command Generator, which can be configured to leverage LLMs or other more traditional NLU methods. In some cases, commands generated by Command Generator might be setting a specific slot. In other cases, it might be calling an API or performing a specific action. Remember, assistants built with Calm aim to efficiently fulfill user requests. That's why an assistant considers user inputs and what happened in the conversation so far to make sure that the follow-up is natural and that it brings the user closer to achieving their goal. After creating the sequence of commands, a dialog manager is responsible for executing the produced commands. That could be starting a specific flow that corresponds to a specified business logic, setting a slot mid-flow, or executing a custom action such as calling an API or performing an enterprise search. One way or another, at this point, the user will get the response back from the assistant. All right, so now you have a high level understanding of how the architecture of an assistant built using Calm looks like. Now let's have a look at how all of this looks like in an active development stage. And let's go over the files and components you will be working with as you work on implementing this behavior. You will write your business logic inside of the flows.yaml file. This is where you will define the business logic rules of your assistant and we will dive into the details of how exactly you can do that in the next episodes of the series. config.yaml is a file where you will configure your dialogue understanding components and its parameters. For example, this is where you will define the LLM component for your dialogue understanding and more. domain.yaml is a file where you will define the universe of your assistant, the responses that your assistant will send back to the user, list the custom actions your assistant is able to handle and what kind of slots and other details your assistant will operate with. Actions.py is a file where you will write the actual code of the custom actions. That could be calling an API, setting a specific slot, etc. There are some additional files you will work with as you build your assistant, like endpoints.yaml. This is where you will define how your assistant runs a custom action server in order to execute custom actions. All right, so now you are ready to dive into more practical and more hands-on implementations of different aspects of your assistant. Over the next few episodes, we are going to cover how you can implement business logic, dialogue understanding components, custom actions, how you can deploy your assistant in production, and so much more. It's a lot of really interesting and fun work, so I will see you in the next episodes. Mm -hmm.